The search effort to find Mandy was really extensive. The whole town practically was combing everywhere, looking for clues, hoping to find her alive. They've called out the Border Patrol helicopter and the sheriff's posse. We're going to get into some of the areas that you uh, wouldn't be able to drive in with a four-wheel drive vehicle. An exhaustive search goes into its second day since 18-year-old Amanda Stavik suddenly disappeared yesterday afternoon. We've had every kind of uh, mode of transportation to search, from you know, riding uh, motorcycles, uh, jeeps, uh, going door to door, walking the ditches, uh, bringing in bloodhounds. They have patrols going through fields that were adjacent to her house. Uh, we had uh, specifically trained uh, people that are, are called man trackers. My name is Joel Harden. I was the Border Patrol's expert tracker for 20 years. The biggest conception about when someone says tracker is someone is down on their hands and knees looking for shoe impressions, a footfall, they call it. Um, it's so much more than that. I see in the surroundings, in the ground cover and so on, that which other people see but are not conscious of. I took several classes and the instructor would say, look at this leaf, turn it over. See this mark? That's a bruise. That's probably four to five hours old. When a branch on a live uh, bush is broken, it bleeds and it scars. And by looking at that, you can pretty well predict when it was broken. Expert trackers use the term sign to indicate any discoverable evidence that could be linked to the missing person. I went to the house and talked to the family and learned what Mandy's normal route was and followed the sign and found the evidence that it was her sign that was coming out onto that road. It was her tracks and followed it to a place where the tracks just stopped and they shouldn't have. Her dog was running with her and the dog tracks stopped there also. It makes you think probably someone pulled her into a car and took off with her. I mean, that's it's kind of the worst. She's not going to be forcibly uh, taken, forcibly, unless two or three guys grabbed her. And there was no, no evidence of that on the road. There was no scuffling and pushing and shoving and that type of thing. The question was, was it just somebody driving by that drove up that road and sees this beautiful girl running with a dog and decides to grab her? or was it somebody that knew her? Our man tracker went to the Stavik home, talked to Mary Stavik, to Mandy's mother, and the dog had come home alone. The dog was on the porch. It was a German Shepherd. She was upset. She didn't know what to do with herself. I said, where's Mandy? Where's Mandy, Kyra? What did you do? Where is she? Our man tracker trying to get the dog to come down, thinking the dog could lead him to where she had last been. And the dog would come off the porch and the dog cowered. He thought something by looking at the dog had happened to the dog. We believe that the dog was kicked or hit or something to um, control the dog. Um, we actually believe maybe even kicked into the ditch where it couldn't fight back or protect Mandy. Enough people along Strand Road had seen her uh, heading out and then coming back that they knew pretty close um, to the time that she had disappeared. Her brother had seen her, uh, some neighbors had seen her. We call it a neighborhood canvas where we would go out door to door, find neighbors that had seen her and then kind of leapfrog from there. You get numb, you just, and you just get focused on searching for her and hoping and that you'll finds or somebody will discover something. On Sunday, two days after she disappeared, the uh, Skagit County search and rescue team were checking a lot of side roads and pull-offs, anything, and they found something they thought was a little bit suspicious and wanted us to look at it. The first thing I did was take a video of the entire area. The only opening in the foliage here has been made by the lane. The situation was a overgrown road and everything on that road looked old, wet. I've been there for a long time. Over to the left of this area, 
on top of some other debris. Here to be an article of clothing. A pair of green sweatpants. Mandy was wearing green sweatpants. Mandy's mother, Mary, was brought to the scene and shown those pants. I didn't remember exactly what she was wearing, but I didn't think they could have been. For one thing, they were dirty, and they had ripped holes in them. And Mandy wouldn't have worn, ever worn anything like that. Mary said at the time that she didn't think that they were hers. But she also said that she didn't want to think that they were hers. They were eventually sent to the laboratory uh, for analysis, look for trace evidence, um, look for anything that might be related to our missing person. There were some tiny fibers, and there were also some semen stains that were analyzed and not connected to Mandy or anybody else in the case. I don't know, I feel so bad for her mother. I just feel so bad for her family. Strand Road, where Mandy Stavik was believed to have been kidnapped so close to her family home, is empty today. People were absolutely shocked that this could happen in a community like Acme that changed everything. I would think of Seattle, New York, a bigger city, not even Bellingham. I didn't even think this would really happen in Bellingham. They didn't know who this person was. Does he live in our community? People were scared to go jogging. It could have been anyone, and everywhere we went could have been the person that did this to Mandy. Everywhere I looked, there was danger. We had a vessel searching the river by boat. And one of the searchers called out that he had seen something. That image is etched in my brain like granite. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.